Hello everyone, my name is Katarina and with my partner Abdu we are going to talk about differences between Bigtable and HBase. Let's dive in! Once again we are starting with Bigtable as it was one of the kickstarter of NoSQL databases. Research paper about Bigtable was released in 2006 by Google, although Bigtable becomes a service as of 2015. The definition that best describes the Bigtable and often has been many times used for age basis following. Bigtable is a sparse, distributed, persistent, multidimensional sorted map. Map in the meaning of key value pairs, sorted because it's always sorted lexicographically, multidimensional, we can see it as a map of maps, persistent, which means data stay even after the program is over, sparse, cells with no data doesn't take any space, and distributed, it's built on Google file system. Let's take a look at the example. Three key dimensions are row, columns, and timestamps. Here we have a column family, content, language, and anchor, and within the column have family we can we have a column qualifiers that are optional. Also, in one cell we have a multiple uh, values that are values for a different timestamp, and users can choose how many timestamp they want in the memory. And third, there are row keys for this table we chose a reverse domain. Sorted rows will be later shred into tablets that represents group of SS tables. Does designing of schema and choosing the right key um, affect performance? Of course. And some tips are to avoid schema that requires, or requires atomicity across the rows also for row keys you can use reverse domain names after sorting everything uh, every information about the same page will be stored closed in databases um, advice is to use a strict identifiers instead of hash values because debugging of human readable keys will be much easier uh, if data has to be returned by time you can uh, use a time step as a part of your uh, row key but not in the beginning because everything will be concentrated on one node and multiple values in a single row key can be useful. Regarding uh, Bigtable API, there is a metadata operation for metadata uh, changes, uh, write operation as a set delete and read operation scanner that allows client to retrieve a range of rows and columns. Tablets in Bigtable are managed by, um, are assigned to one server, and a server are managing thousands of tablets. Uh, so, and um, it's possible to ch for a tablet to change the, the server, and this way no data is copied, uh, only pointer is being moved around, um, and users have to be able to find those tablets. And for this information, Bigtable uses tree level hierarchy as a B plus tree um, and uses metadata table. First level is Chubby, where uh, we have a Chubby file that uh, have a location for root tablet. And the root tablet has location of metadata tablets, and each metadata tablets leads to user table. Uh, with first um, lookup, client need uh, three network uh, round trips, and after that uh, location of tablets is cached. Also, um, metadata table has a role for recovering of the uh, failed tablets. Server just ask about metadata for a uh, failed tablet. Regarding write operation, a uh, client library makes a call with uh, API operation. The call goes through tablet server, which location was previously explained how it's found. Each write goes through GPS to a commit log. Operation is committed to um, a sorted buffer called mem table, and it gets written into, um, when it increases in size, it gets written into uh, SS table, and new mem table is created. Uh, for read path, um, Bigtable uses uh, commit log for um, small files and for big files and uh, values that are not accessible frequently, uh, Bigtable uses SS table. Moving on to HBase. One example of how HBase can be used is the storing of a Facebook like or comment or an Instagram uh, comment. 
as seen in this uh, figure, each row is stored under key containing the application name, bind to it uh, a user ID. It's worth mentioning here that each set of keys are stored under a region. For um, the next part, uh, we will talk a little bit about how the collaborations are executed. Since each table is uh, split up into multiple regions and each region server handles one or more regions, the first step in reading or writing is to actually find the correct region server. This is done mainly by a lookup uh, using the row key provided in a query. Uh, in a special table called uh, metatable, the location of the table is stored in Zookeeper under a region which is called uh, root region. Once a client uh, knows which region server manages the required region, uh, a read or write uh, could happen. Um, in the um, shown sequence diagram, uh, this is the uh, write path. Initially, the region server starts writing to a write ahead log, which is used for recovery. Then changes are stored, sorted in a memory cache called uh, memstore. Only when the memory store accumulates enough data, then it's flushed to an H, to a H file in uh, HDFS in the same sorted manner it was initially written in. It's worth mentioning here uh, that changes are immutable in the sense that all updates are bended. Also, it's worth mentioning that the importance of the write ahead log uh, arises when a region uh, server fails and the content of the memory store um, is gone. Uh, only then um, the contents can be reconstru reconstructed again uh, from the write ahead log. For uh, the read pass, uh, the client sends a request to HPAS uh, to read. Uh, then the client finds the region and the region server it manages, as explained before. Once the region is found, uh, first the lookup in the region server block cache is done and returns immediately if the table was found. If not, the search goes down um, to the mem store, and if the table is found, it's returned. Otherwise, it goes down one step uh, further uh, to the edge file, and once the data is found there, it's written back into the block cache, and uh, the result is returned to the uh, client. That concludes the uh, read and write. Uh, for deletions, the deletions happen in a soft way, meaning that no actual deletions happen, unless the uh, major compactions in HBase are executed. Now moving on to a little bit about the uh, differences and the similarities of HBase and Bigtable. Let's start with the uh, similarities. Um, they are both uh, NoSQL databases uh, that can handle um, beta bytes um, in scale um, because of the linear horizontal scaling and both have uh, emphasis on high availability um, through replication and versioning. Uh, both are schema free and work well with um, data um, like real time analysis uh, data. And they are both implemented on the same research paper. Also, uh, they are both uh, CB systems, what's called CB system, uh, which means uh, that they are um, most consistent and um, partition tolerant. Uh, in other words, uh, while interacting with the system, uh, one of them, uh, at least some end nodes are guaranteed to hold the latest values and that the system will continue to function even if some nodes fails to uh, communicate with the rest due to um, network partitioning. But at the same time, if the system cannot return the most recent write, then it becomes unavailable to the client. A uh, little bit about the syntactic difference uh, between them. Uh, this is uh, this uh, table uh, summarizes uh, the changes of, of the names uh, of the components and its counterpart in uh, in HBase and in Bigtable. Um, in addition to the syntactic difference, there is also the semantic differences um, here. Uh, which means that Bigtable was created by Google, it's commercial and it's available only in the cloud form while HBase is open source and available in whatever, so, um, um, in whatever form the client uh, requires. And that concludes our uh, presentation. Thank you.